time is 12.01 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Shortly before sunrise on this Sunday morning, seasonably mild and crystal clear weather route, the local region of South Central Nebraska and North Central Kansas, with temperatures in most areas between the upper 30s and mid 40s. A quick warm up is in store today, as this still looks like the overall warmest day of the next week, with afternoon high temperatures topping out between 75 and 80 degrees. These warm temperatures will not arrive without a breeze. However, as wind gusts in most places climb into generally the 25 to 30 miles per hour range out of the westerly direction. Unfortunately, for those with fire weather interests or concerns, the combination of these breezes, along with warm temperatures and low relative humidity, will promote near critical to critical fire danger this afternoon. The overall highest fire danger will generally focus within counties south of Interstate 80 and east of Highway 2. Turning to Monday, it will be a slightly cooler day in the wake of a weak cold front with high temperatures expected to range between the mid-60s and low-70s. Although it will be a bit breezy again in the afternoon, overall Monday will feature lighter winds than today. Starting Monday night and blasting into Tuesday night, a few chances for showers and thunderstorms return to the local area. At this time, the overall best chances for rain appear to focus within southeast portions of the local area on Tuesday afternoon and early evening, when a few strong thunderstorms may occur as well. A dry forecast then returns for Wednesday through Saturday to round out the week. You are listening to NOAA Weather Radio on Hazards, station WXL-74, operating on a frequency of 162.400 MHz from power facilities near Giltner, Nebraska. This station provides routine and critical weather information for the following 12 Nebraska counties. Adams, Buffalo, Clay, Fillmore, Hull, Hamilton, Howard, Merrick, Nance, Pogue, Sherman, and York. Programming originates from the National Weather Service in Hastings, proudly serving South Central Nebraska and portions of North Central Kansas. This is a red flag warning message for the following counties in Nebraska, Adams, Clay, and Fillmore. The National Weather Service in Hastings has issued a red flag warning for wind and low relative humidity, which is in effect from noon to date at 7 p.m. this evening. Affected area in Nebraska, Adams, Clay, Fillmore, Webster, Knuckles, and Thayer. West to northwest winds at 20 to 25 miles per hour are expected dot with gusts near 30 miles per hour possible. Relative humidity values will drop into the 15 to 20 percent range. Any fires that occur will spread rapidly, exhibit extreme fire behavior, and will be difficult to contain. Use caution when engaging in activities that could result in a fire. Outdoor burning is not recommended. A red flag warning means that critical fire weather conditions are either occurring now or shortly. A combination of strong winds, low relative humidity, and warm temperatures can contribute to extreme fire behavior. Here is your latest National Weather Service forecast for Hastings, Grand Island, St. Paul, and surrounding areas. Rest of today, breezy, sunny, warmer. Highs in the upper 70s. West winds 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear. Lows in the lower 40s. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 25 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny, cooler. Highs in the mid-60s. East winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the southeast in the afternoon. Monday night, partly cloudy with slight chance of showers and isolated thunderstorms. Lows in the upper 40s. South winds 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Tuesday, mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 60s. Southwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Tuesday night, partly cloudy with slight chance of showers and isolated thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 40s. Wednesday, partly cloudy, cooler. Highs in the upper 50s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 40. Thursday, sunny. Highs in the lower 60s. Thursday night, clear. Lows in the upper 30s. Friday, sunny. Highs in the mid-60s. Friday night, clear. Lows in the lower 40s. Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs around 70. At noon, at Central Nebraska Regional Airport at Grand Island, it was sunny. 
The temperature was 74, with a dew point of 32, and the relative humidity at 21%. The wind was west, at 20 miles an hour, and the pressure was 29.83 inches, and steady. At Hastings Municipal Airport, it was sunny. The temperature was 75, with a dew point of 31, and the relative humidity at 19%. The wind was west, at 17 miles an hour, and the pressure was 29.84 inches, and falling. Elsewhere near the listening area, it was sunny. It was 72 at Kearney, 72 at Holdridge, 73 at York, and 75 at Aurora. Cleveland reported 72, Columbus reported 72, and North reported 70. In eastern Nebraska, it was sunny. It was 71 at Omaha, 76 at Lincoln, and 70 at Norfolk. In western and north central Nebraska, it was sunny. It was 71 at North Platte, 70 at McCook, 64 at Sydney, and 69 at Valentine. Across northern Kansas, it was sunny. It was 69 at Concordia, 70 at Smith Center, and 69 at Goodland. And elsewhere around the region, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 74 at Des Moines, 55 at Cheyenne, and 62 at Denver. Kansas City reported 73, Wichita reported 70, and Sioux Falls reported 67. Again, at noon, it was sunny. It was 73 at York, 74 at Grand Island, and 75 at Hastings. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for south-central Nebraska and portions of north-central Kansas. For today and tonight, this afternoon, a red flag warning for critical fire weather conditions has been issued for Adams, Clay, Fillmore, Webster Knuckles and Thayer counties of south-central Nebraska and Jewel and Mitchell counties of north-central Kansas. Please refer to the latest red flag warning message for additional information. Across the remainder of the outlook area outside of this red flag warning, near critical fire weather conditions are expected this afternoon. And now the extended outlook for the period Monday through Saturday. Starting Monday night and continuing through Tuesday evening, chances for at least isolated thunderstorm activity return to the outlook area. While the risk for severe storms appears fairly low at this time, the Tuesday afternoon and evening time frame bears watching for the possibility of a few strong storms capable of reducing small hail and gusty winds, especially in southeast portions of the outlook area. Spotter information statement, spotter activation will not be needed through tonight. The current time is 12 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Surely.